Evening. We start tonight with the Webtech UE contract negotiations. Webtech saying today managers are taking their case directly to the union workers, arguing without wage concessions for new employees, work planned for the Erie plant could go elsewhere. Scott Bremner has a closer look at where things stand. Day 40 in a three-month negotiating window, and so far the numbers aren't adding up for Wabtec and former GE union members. The company sending an open letter to workers saying a two-tier pay scale is essential to the company's eerie success. That's a difference of $13 an hour between a proposed new starting pay rate of $22 an hour and existing workers who make an average of $35 an hour. One of the points the company is trying to make is that all current employees would stay at the same wage, even if they're laid off and then called back. The only employees that would be affected by a different lower pay scale would be new hires. But union leadership argues even the current wages still made GE a lot of money in the day and admit a bumpy train ride still lies ahead. It's a very complex process. It's a, it's a first contract with a new employer. This isn't a matter of getting slight changes or modifications to an existing contract. Uh, this is an entirely new contract. A train ride the company says has two possible tracks. One leading to more work and more workers in Erie, the other seeing the work leave for other destinations. The one thing that's absolutely for certain, things will not stay the same. They will not stay the same. It's either going to go one direction or the other. It's that simple. A simple choice that may require a complex solution. Scott Bremner, Jet 24, Action News.